Hey guys, what's up? This is Zach here. So recently, Apple released iOS 17.3.1 and surprisingly, this version is compatible with the Pangu jailbreak. By the end of this video, I will also show you how to install tweaks, like getting cool screen transition effects like this, or installing very cool music widget right under your dock icons like this. This method is 100% secure and working great even with the latest iPhone 15 lineups. You will get untethered Cydia or Cilio, meaning they will work even after rebooting your iDevice so you won't need to re-jailbreak it again and again. Alright so, without any further ado, let's get right into the method. Here, I'll be using my iPhone 14 for demonstration. First, let me show you the current version of the iOS installed in my phone. Alright guys, as you can see, it's the latest iOS 17.3.1. Before jailbreak, we need to perform a few steps. Since Apple does not allow jailbreak, there are a few settings with an iPhone that will block the jailbreaking. So let me show you how to get your device ready for the jailbreak. First of all, go to Settings, then go to General option, Background App Refresh, choose this option here, which is Wi-Fi and Mobile Data. In the next step, you have to go to Main Settings page, then scroll down and go to this option which says Battery. Here, you need to make sure that the Low Power Mod is turned on. If it's turned on like this, you will see a yellow color within the battery icon. So make sure to turn off this option. That's it guys, that's everything you have to do to make sure your device is ready to be jailbroken. Now open up Safari browser and go to this website, iospongo.com. Make sure you visit the correct link, I will add this link in the first comment below. So this is how the website looks like. What you need to do is click on this download button right here. Now there is a social locker. To be able to proceed to next step, you need to either subscribe to my YouTube channel or share this website on Facebook or Twitter. It's all up to you. I'll demonstrate how to do YouTube subscribe here. So click on this YouTube icon and you'll be redirected to a YouTube channel. First, click on the subscribe button and make sure to turn the notifications on to all. Once everything is done, go back to the browser and you should see the download button has been unlocked. Click on the download button. The website will then ask you to install Pangu configuration profile. So, click on Allow button, then go to Home Screen, now you have to open up your iPhone settings. Here you should see an option named Profile Downloaded here on top. Choose this option and then click on Install button. Now enter your passcode if required. Then click on Next and choose Install again. Choose the Install option one more time. Click on Done button to close this window. Alright, the Pangu configuration profile has been installed. Go ahead and open it up. Here it will show you the current iOS version running on your iPhone. Finally, click on this jailbreak button. Alright guys, Panko has begun the jailbreaking process and it should take around 2-3 to three minutes to complete the process. So, I'm going to just fast forward this part. Alright guys, the process is almost done. And there it is. Jailbreak has been completed and now it's giving me the option to install Cilia. You may even get option to install Cydia, depending upon the availability for the current iOS version. Don't worry, Cilia is as good as Cydia. You can say it's more advanced than Cydia. So just go ahead and choose the option to install it. Then go back to home screen and you'll see Cilio being installed on your device. And it has been installed successfully. That's all guys, this is how you can easily jailbreak the iOS 17.3.1 and install Cilio or Cydia. You can now proceed to install iOS 17 compatible tweaks with Cilio now. Please note that not all tweaks are yet compatible with iOS 17. But as the jailbreak has been finally arrived in iOS 17, you should soon see a lot of compatible tweaks in Cilio. Let me go ahead and install some tweaks. Here, I'm going to install a tweak called Cylinder. This tweak will give you really cool home screen icon animations. Currently, there are 45 icon effects. If the animations do not satisfy your needs, then you can create your own animations using Lua. Just go ahead and proceed to install this tweak from Cilio. You can find same tweak within Cydia as well. Once the tweak is installed, go ahead and respring your device. You can now use any tweak to respring. Here I'm going to use this Respring X tweet. Alright, now just a second, and there it is. All you have to do is just unlock your iPhone to see the magic. There it is. As you can see, I'm getting a lot of cool screen transition effects. You can change these effects from settings. Just click on the Cylinder Reborn option, then go to Effects. Here, you'll see a list of all the effects. You can choose any effect you want. Isn't it cool? Let's try one more tweet. I'll be installing Multiply Light. Multiply Light brings a bit of the power from Multiply right to your dock for free. Featuring the music widget for Multiply, Multiply Light allows you to get a feel for Multiply before you purchase the full version. 
Although there is a full paid version, you can see enjoy a lot of other cool features of this tweak and free version. Just go ahead and install this tweak. Once it's installed, you need to respring the device again. Then go ahead and unlock your device to see the effect. So here it is guys, all you need to do now is just swipe the dock to get the music widget here. You can actually use any other widget here as well, instead of music, but you need to get a paid version of Multipla for that. Anyway, this free music widget feature of Multipla Lite is also really awesome. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, if you face any issue, just comment below and I'll help you with it. However, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel first. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video, till then, peace out.